My father wants to leave for America. Nia, there is no life here for me or anyone else. B, you cannot leave the camp because in America, you must work. And how will you work when you do not know the words they speak to you? Mother, the Thai officials are closing the camp down. Those who remain will be sent back to Laos. B, you cannot leave the camp. I do not want to go to a new world so far away. I cannot start a new life. I would not know how. I would just wait to die. And when I die, my spirit will not be able to find its way across the ocean. I am old, and I want to see my family together for as long as I can. Mother, I have two girls. What would happen to me in America is not as important as what would happen to my girls here. You love me. I love my daughters as you love me, mother. The day comes for us to leave. My mother takes a long time to pack. Grandma will follow us to America with Uncle Hugh and his family. They will go to California and we will go to Minnesota. How far is it from Minnesota to California? I don't know. Well, if there are no fences in America, why can't we visit whenever we like? Why are you packing so much? In a new land, don't you need new things? Sit down and be a good girl. She packs two big Hmong kitchen knives made of iron. In case the knives in America cannot cut through bone, she wraps an old shirt around her traditional necklace of pure silver, the most expensive thing that we own. My mother gave it to me at our wedding in the jungle. A Hmong woman needs to have something of her mother's if she hopes to find her way back to her once life ends. Two traditional outfits with red and green sashes. When you and Doug grow up, you will wear them. And these pieces of brown embroidery cross the Mekong River with me. They tell a story of the Hmong people. The Hmong and Laos fled from China. Legends tell of war and slavery, murder and escape. The Hmong language had been outlawed. The written language was hidden in flowers. The pieces of cloth are carefully lined with flowery symbols and connected squares. Hmong women hid their stories in their clothing. <laughs>